Hello Pisces and welcome back to your extended and the cards that I picked for this morning is change and spiritual career. Now this is going to be the last time I pick cards tomorrow. I'm not going to talk about uh, the cards that I picked um, because tomorrow is the 1st of June. So, But you can still pick whatever resonated. I know you guys have been doing it all month and it will it's it's it pays to do so because I'm going to be picking the winners differently than I do is just draw. And I will explain that when I do uh, the giveaway. So you might be surprised uh, supporting this channel and writing down in the comment section probably really helped you out a lot this month if you did almost every time. So yeah, I'm very excited. Okay, so watch out for that. The giveaway video will come sometime tomorrow for sure. Uh, or in the next couple of days for sure, I'm, I'm hoping. Five and eight, change in spiritual career. So these are the ones that spoke to me. So you are guiding yourself more in a spiritual based type of life. In other words, you're going to follow your spirit's calling. Um, a spiritual career doesn't necessarily mean that you be a, a, a card reader, but it could be. Uh, it could be anything spiritual based, something that you feel within yourself that's from your inner uh, person. Uh, the Hermit card came out, so it's very much from your inner work. You're realizing that you need a change, okay? So I am just putting these out here. How fitting that I end these the cards that resonated with these, okay? I really love that. I love that. So moving on. This evening, I'm going to take from the Soul's Journey to see what else we can get from today's reading. If you haven't seen this morning's video, I suggest you do. It's very beautiful. This reading was very exceptionally beautiful. As well, it uh, it also shows the beautiful journal that I have for sale now. I will be getting also by now probably it's probably up the 365 um, page journal. I am gonna, I am ordering that as well, so that you can see the difference between the two. I plan to get better value for your money with the, the yearly one, but you might just want to use the monthly one because you want to order another one next month when I put out a different picture. I'm going to be putting out one for every single month of the year with beautiful, beautiful pictures from, uh, that I've taken over the years. Okay? All right. So if you want to see what the one for June, it's called River of June. Uh, I'm, I'm just fighting mosquitoes right now, you guys. So if you hear me smacking, it's because I'm I'm getting eaten alive. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Nice. Nice. Again with this color. We had this color. See, we had this color this morning. It it feels very much like these friendships, especially with that that purple hue to it. I'm feeling more of a, a spiritual friendship. And these friendships may be with people who are spiritual inclined, such as you. I feel that Spirit is saying that this is, uh, you may be have going at odds with people that you've known all your life that are maybe not on the same path as you. But you may have other people coming in who are more like-minded like you. So please keep that in mind uh, when you're feeling a little bit... Uh, you feel a little separated or segregated from the people that you usually hang out with. Some people are in there for a season and a reason, and that's also something that came to mind when I was pulling this card. And uh, maybe some people's season have ended and other people's season are beginning. So just keep that in mind as well. View from above. Get the big picture. Beautiful. from the Gateway Oracle cards, also from Denise Lynn. 
savoring pleasure. I fully embrace bliss in my life. So these are good times uh, I'm feeling from spirit. I feel this is good times. I'm not going to take a soul card. I'm actually going to take another soul journey. Okay. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Okay. This applies to this morning when I was talking about these people who are really feeling left out of your really some of you different decisions that you're making different paths that you're following this part here is both about friendships okay this is about stuff this is about new friendships this is about old friendships they're saying to be kind to the people who maybe don't understand or maybe giving you a hard time you have to understand there are different parts there are different times of their lives they may not understand what you are doing um, a bliss in your life. This is enjoy the changes. Enjoy the stuff that's happening to you. It's time to have those creature comforts. I love the candles, a glass of wine, uh, even the looking in the mirror. It's like pampering yourself. Um, you have the bubble bath, I believe. Yeah, bath. You have the bath. You have flowers. You have perfume. You have, oh, you have chocolate muffins. Well, there you go. And you have music. So it is telling you to just enjoy your life as much as you can as much as you can it's important to remember that while we're doing this trek not to forget to have a little bit of fun because if we do we're going to completely miss the boat on a lot of stuff um you don't want to spend your life always trying to get from point a to point b and never having any fun in between that's just that's just sad you're always you're always propelling yourself from one point to the other. And I know a lot of people who do that because they need something to do in their life. They need to challenge, right? A challenge, persevering. They need to be taking and going over something all the time. I need to I need to be moving ahead. I need to be gaining ground on something. So this is what this is. Right. Go to the high priestess, the high priestess is somebody who uh, has inner wisdom and intuition. Okay, be receptive. This is a quiet, this is meditation. So this is stop yourself from always looking for the next uh, challenge and just try for something more. Uh, find a peace and quiet. There's that tower card from this morning. You're going into a period where you're up, you're up, up moving everything. <laughs> Turning is the word I'm looking for. You just whoop up everything. Like so, there's a lot of surprising events that may be happening. Uh, things are shook up. Um, it may be some chaos, upheavals. Yes, that's right. Times of um, for some people maybe time of crisis. But soon enough, you're going to have to grab the chariot and move forward in these different directions. See the towers right under savoring pleasure. I. I find that so funny. It's like going, yeah, I just blew that up and now I'm going to take a bubble bath. That's exactly what's going through my mind. But I feel that this is going to be very liberating for you. It is going to help you find your happiness. It's going to help you find that inner happy inside of you, maybe even that inner child, uh, to start enjoying things again. The path from before might have been very repressive for you, Pisces, and now you're feeling a lot better. Mm -hmm. Right, there's that Ace of Swords, I had it this morning, focusing on the goal, focusing on what you want, so get a big picture on it. It's okay to focus, just make sure to keep the balance. No, there's too many, it's too many. Okay, Woo. Right, and I was thinking again, the balance, we had the Six of Pentacles, the Justice card, same thing, you have the scales. Finding the balance, these are, these are doubled cards. Right, you're going. You're going to go through a moment of intense growth, and if it's money, this is good. Okay, the King of Pentacles, a good card. If it if it's pertaining to money or career change, this is going to be very very good for you. Right, a moment of creativity. Exactly, going after what you want. Right underneath the uh, beautiful High Priestess. Right. Some of you, these changes, they may be slow. You may have to study in whatever you're doing. You may take you a while. You're going to be a little bit of an apprentice. 
However, the progress that you're doing is going to be dependable and it's going to be sturdy and long lasting. Don't halt yourself too much on details. Okay, so you're going to give careful attention to detail. This this is a good Okay. This is a good night to have. And the two that are coming out here is the 10. Look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. We've had it twice in two days. This Ten of Pentacles has been coming out. Was it the Ten of Cups yesterday? No, it was the Ten of Pentacles. And you have the Three of Pentacles for me, which is uh, guidance from Spirit. So Spirit is definitely coming in and giving you a boost here. A big boost. You're going to have new people coming in, old people, uh, you know, uh, that you're going to have to explain things to maybe a few times over. They may never understand and leave, or some may just, you know, they'll come around again after uh, a bit of time. Here you have, again, the King of Cups. We had him this morning as well. So this for them is an upheaval for you, something completely different. It It's feeling more like you are really starting to feel more like yourself is what I want to say here. You know that great big sigh when you're, let's say you want to quit your job. This is the example they're giving me because that's the one that I like. The big sigh of that build up to going, I hate this place. I can't. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm done. But you just don't want to leave. And finally you get the courage after months or years. And you do the mic drop. And at the moment it feels very much like this. That I just blew myself up. What the heck? But as you're walking out, you take in the biggest breath and you let out the biggest sigh. And when you do that, you just release the biggest burden you've ever felt in your life. And for some of you, it is the it is it is euphoric. This is the this is the word I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm not saying for you to quit your job. I'm giving you as an example because that's what happened to me uh, when I left. At, it was euphoria for me. It scared me blind, and I was I was shaking in my boots. Uh, but uh, when I finally did shut the door for the last time, get in my vehicle and drive home, it was the greatest sigh of relief. It was just, oh my God, I am so happy I'm gone. And so that's why I'm using this as an example. Okay opening to discovery, right? You're discovering your potential, Pisces, absolutely, and the power of purpose. These these are beautiful cards, and they absolutely resonate, and we've gotten these cards just recently. They have both come out for us. Uh, I feel this looks like it's a keyhole, but it also looks like a light bulb that's about to go off. If you look at it, it does. looks like the light is about to click on. So, this is this is like the mic drop. This is like you're about to put the key in the door to something to move it forward and then you're going to get your power. I'm slapping myself because there's the power of purpose and here you have the wheel, the cycles are turning. I feel very much it's got the chariot energy. You're getting ready to go. You're ready to find your purpose and go in that direction. This is perfect between a tower card. You have the one and eight. It gets to nine. Nine is divine. You're finding your groove, Pisces, and that is absolutely beautiful. So you're moving, you're skipping right from a seven to a nine. It's beautiful. Beautiful energy here. A little bit electric, like I said, because of the fact that you are you are jump starting yourself into something and it may feel quite uncomfortable on the get go but as you finally realize that you have followed your intentions there's going to be a great sense of relief and release okay this could apply to anything in your life that has to do spiritually uh, mentally career wise money wise any wise that this suits in your life this is very much resonating for Pisces who are at the point of just going on the cusp of something brand new uh, even if it's something that you're putting in motion maybe it's a plan as we were talking about for all of June you're putting a fire energy plan a passion of yours in motion you're about to jump on it and go and it for some of you it's taken a lot of courage to do it 
but you are finally at the point of doing it. This is beautiful, Pisces. As always, I said it in the last, but in case you didn't watch it, you should never let anybody tell you what to do. Go within yourself. You know exactly whether you should or shouldn't do anything. Don't ask for anybody's permission or listen to anybody blindly to do things. You should always go within your inner wisdom and follow your own true calling. Everybody is, is different and you shouldn't even listen to me. If you're not sure, don't listen to me either. Don't listen to anybody telling you how to do your life. You run your life the way you want it. I know it sounds weird, but that is the way that I do things. If this resonates with you, you will absolutely know it. When I was ready to move on, I knew it. I listened to my favorite readers. Yes, I do have some. But it didn't matter what they said. I already knew where I was going. Right? Right. I don't regret it. So follow what's in your heart. Follow what's in your gut. Follow what's in your intuition. It will never steer you wrong. You know what you are supposed to be doing with your life. We just sometimes don't listen. So best of luck to those of you who are jumping on to your magic carpet to destination that you really want. Sorry, I'm keep hitting myself. There's one mosquito going around and he's trying to get to me. As soon as this camera shuts off, I'm getting him, I promise you. Anyway, uh, I'm sending you lots of love and light, Pisces. Take good care of yourself. Uh, blessings to you and uh, I will see you tomorrow as always. I'm always here. If you haven't subscribed, do that now and hit that notification bell to all. Take care, Pisces.